So we talked about the whys and the hows, and then the second building block uh, that's really going to be important to all of the other uh, steps that you're going to take in the job search is to develop SOAR stories. SOAR would be a situation, an obstacle, an action I took in that situation to address that obstacle, and what the results were. And depending on the amount of time that, uh, or the amount of work experience that you have, you should at least have five to ten of those stories that you're going to know uh, just inside and out. And these will become the building blocks of the next few steps that we talk about. So the next steps, the first one uh, in today's job market is your LinkedIn profile. Number one, you have to be on LinkedIn. It is the method that's used uh, basically by all recruiters internally and externally today. They pay for a service to go onto LinkedIn where they can do searches uh, looking for candidates and, and you have to be there. The second, obviously, is a resume. The game has changed uh, around resumes because there are so many uh, applicant tracking systems today that use keywords and so forth. You're going to have to develop a resume. Again, the resume is going to be built on uh, the whys and the hows and the source stories that you created. So again, it's important to get those things done up front so that you're not constantly rewriting uh, a resume. What's going to be really, really important for you is to network. Many of you may not like that. It gives you coach heels to think about, oh, I'm going, to have to, I'm going to have to network. Networking is extremely important, and actually it's going to be the most probable way that you find uh, a new position. So if you haven't done this in the past, uh, this is really something you're just going to have to start getting yourself accustomed to. So networking is a lifetime skill. It, it helps you to you know, figure out what are best practices out there, benchmark against competition, or just get advice about, you know, here's ideas I'm thinking about. And if you have a network, you can bounce ideas off of other people. The other thing about networking is that what it does is it gets you into the hidden job market. So what is the hidden job market? It's those situations within companies where someone has just left or they've just decided, you know, we need a new organization, we need a new team uh, to handle uh, X or Y. If you have contacts within that company and they hear of those opportunities before they even get posted, they're going to be contacting you. It's a good chance for you to, to get in before the job's ever posted. It's, it saves the company money uh, to do that. So the hidden job market is important. Networking is very critical.